When I went to get Davis out of the car, he was, uh, he was catatonic. I um, went through the doors of the emergency room. The response was, was really phenomenal. The guard immediately knew. It's nothing like the feeling when you get, when you see somebody bringing a limp child into the emergency room. I jumped up and Leslie went and opened the door. By the time the second set of doors were open, there were a group of nurses who took Davis from me. And the child looked like he could be have passed away. And I checked for a pulse and he had a pulse, but it wasn't a strong pulse. So we ran him right into the back as we would for any critically ill patient. We got him on the monitor. We noticed that his blood pressure was through the roof. I didn't believe the numbers. It was a 198 over 126. I didn't know that it was possible to be alive with um, a blood pressure that high, so. He was having a seizure where he was, he was twitching, his eyes were rolled back in his head, his teeth were clenched. Uh, it was, it's like an electrical malfunction of the brain. We intubated him to protect his airway so the machine could breathe for him. Most important thing is airway and oxygenation with children. You don't want them to go into cardiac arrest from lack of oxygen. In addition to taking care of the boy himself, we always have to make sure that dad, that the family, whatever family members are with them, understand at all times what's going on. There was an, uh, a nurse or a doctor constantly, you know, trying to go down a list and then the next list. And then, you know, there was a, a real desire to, to problem solve, you know, to leave no stone unturned, so to speak. You have a bunch of experienced nurses in the room um, with a doctor, and we all knew that there was something seriously wrong with this child. So I pulled the dad outside, and we were like, you know, you, you need to call your wife. No, you, I will, I will, I will. She took me aside, and, and she said, she needs to be here now. I was found that the child had glomular nephritis, which is a condition that develops when strep attacks your kidneys, when it goes untreated. Uh, the child wasn't symptomatic, he had no reason to be treated. So it had already gotten to his kidneys before they started him on the moxicillin and realized what was going on. It had calmed down and, and Davis was stable and they were with him and they continued to do tests and I, I held it together remarkably well. And <laughs> um, you know, one of the nurses, um, she came over and she, she put her hand on my arm and she asked how I was. It's always difficult to deal with any critical patient, but when you have a critical child, you want to treat this child as if it's your own. You want to make sure that this child is going to be fine because you know that that parent, that mother, that father, they're going to suffer if anything happens to their child. They treated me like I was one of their own. I really think the team in the emergency room, the doctor, I think the hospital, all of the brand new emergency room, we have all the great equipment that we have. And I think that was a significant reason why the child was saved, number one, and d fully recovered, number two. For us, it was another day, and it was, you know, but for them, it wasn't. For them, it was life-changing. Had he not received the treatment that he got at the time he got it, um, he wouldn't be with us today. When I was in nursing school, I'll never forget the nurse recruiter that came over and kind of told us about White Plains Hospital and, um, you know, she's, she was here for a long time and she was really excited to work here and I said, that's where I want to be. I want to go to an environment where, you know, I truly love what I do and love my job. When a patient arrives at the hospital and they meet our nursing staff, they immediately have the confidence and assurance that they're going to receive a high quality of medical care. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, our nursing care and our nurses are on the front line and they're taking care of every aspect of care that families and patients need. The nurses are truly the lifeblood of the organization. I know this, I have made it no secret that I am a nurse and I know how important nurses' role is in an organization. 12 o'clock at night, one o'clock at night, someone's scared, someone's delivering a baby at one o'clock, it's the nurse that you can always count on. The face of this hospital are the nurses. We are blessed with scores of men and women who provide compassionate, committed care uh, to our patients. White Plains Hospital, I think, delivers care the way it should be delivered. I can't tell you how often a patient will come into the office 
and the first thing they'll talk about it was the nursing care. I think one of the things that I've appreciated at this hospital as compared to other hospitals is the longevity uh, with which the nursing staff generally works here. Uh, I think it's a sign of the fact that they live in the community, they work in the community, and they really want to serve the patients that live in this community. So many people who come to our hospital are connected in some way through the community or through employment or doctors' families. Uh, and we're part of the community, and it's really a very, very special environment. Administration definitely supports nursing, and on multi-levels. They support us with resources, they support us with time, with energy, with commitment. They believe in what we do. Number one, the nurses are very well educated and trained at White Plains Hospital. The patients view us as a team, so it's not just the doctor that takes care of them, but it's the doctor, the nurses, as well as the ancillary staff. The amount of time they spend with the patient and the way they get to know the patients, their communication and with us is, is uh, is very important. There's a whole other layer um, between the nurses and the patients that doesn't allow that bond to develop uh, as well as one would hope or think at the larger institutions. I do feel like I have a say in the individual care of the patients um, side by side with the doctors. There's a great degree of respect. We're supportive to each other as well as obviously to our patients and patient care. The fact that they personally care for the patients, that they're optimistic and encouraging to patients, I believe makes a big difference in terms of how patients heal and how they get better at our hospital. I think the best way to describe the importance of our nursing staff to our hospital is through real life stories. When I walked into the emergency room, I went right to the counter and I said, I'm having shortness of breath and I'd previously had a heart attack and before I even turned around, there were six nurses all around me. Uh, it was the most impressive thing I've ever seen. My father-in-law was brought here in December. A month later, there was no question about bringing my father here. Basically, I kept on telling the whole family to go home. I felt completely at ease at the hospital. Every time I came and met a new nurse, he was always saying, this is the best nurse, and it was um, nice to know that he was so happy. That helped me to know that he was taken care of so well. Every day, I enjoy coming to work and knowing that whether it's my family or someone else's, we're really taking great care of them. Up here in the NICU, we tell parents when they come here, um, welcome to our family. Because he was a premature baby, they did not know how long he was gonna be there for. Two weeks after he was born, one of the nurses actually came to tell me that we have a surprise for you. If you want to, for three minutes, you can hold him. That was really one of those special moments that as a mom, when you give birth to your child, I think that that was your long for it. All the nurses and everybody who's been in and out of here has been fantastic. Everyone has really great bedside manner. They really put their personal touch in with everything that they did. and. Um, that, ma that makes a big difference. And the doctors and the nurses are seamless. There's no hierarchy here. It's a teamwork, and it's a complementary teamwork. It's been working in unison beautifully well. I really do believe so, that these people have that their job uh, because they love what they do. You can teach someone to go to great medical school, and you can teach them how to fix a suture and deliver a baby, but I think from what everybody has inside is what makes it really great place. They don't just treat you like a, a patient, they treat you like a family. I work in oncology and hospice area where we work with patients from the beginning of a diagnosis to end of life care. Deborah was a patient of mine for several weeks and all of us on 5F had taken care of her. And on this particular morning, uh, I was helping her set up for breakfast and she looked at me and said, Leslie, I'm ready. And at first I was kind of taken aback and I said, well, what do you mean you're ready? Ready to shower, ready to clean up? She says, I'm ready to go. She's just an unbelievable wife, mother, grandmother, and she was more than a wife to me. She was my best friend. And the only thing she did ask, if I'm gonna die, this is the place where I wanna die. I feel loved here. I don't wanna go anyplace else. Do whatever you have to do that I'm here. I wanted them to go home at night and know that mom was taken care of. She was my mom's age. Um, and so that's, 
That's how I want my mom to be treated. She was in seven weeks. You know, anybody who was there, they, they just stop in, how you doing? They meet you in the hall, they stop, how you doing? How's Tara? How's Danny? How's Ryan? How are they handling this? Do you need a hand with anything? So you have to be able to handle family dynamics as well as that um, personal care that's involved. I went to her funeral and I, I was able to say goodbye to her. Um, and as I crossed in front of the casket, I stopped. And I didn't know what to say. What do you say to someone, to a husband who's just lost their wife? And I said to him, thank you for letting me take care of your wife. And he looked at me and I, I didn't know what else to say. And he said, it was a week ago today that you and I had this conversation that you told me my wife was ready for, for hospice. And I said, that's right. And he hugged me and he thanked me. And that's all I needed was my hug. And I knew that I did the best I can do for her. Forget their professionalism, their knowledge of their craft in nursing. I've never found a better set of human beings anywhere. They weren't nurses at the end. They were her family. It's my high honor and privilege to officially notify you that the Commission on Magnet has unanimously voted to credential White Plains Hospital as a magnet. It's not about saying we're a magnet hospital, we're magnet nurses. It's about proving it. It's proving it through benchmark outcomes that state we are the best at what we do. To be a magnet hospital was something that we dreamed about four or five years ago. To actually accomplish it is something that's just spectacular. And I just give all the accolades to our nursing staff and particularly our nursing leadership. The nursing care at White Plains is special because of the individual commitment of each nurse to excellence. Our patients deserve the finest medical care and at West Med, we salute the nurses of White Plains Hospital for their magnet nursing status. Magnet nurses understand they must be accountable for great patient care. The most amazing thing um, about magnet is that it truly does enhance patient care. It's an amazing feeling. It's hard to explain. And it's something that I think we're gonna be proud of. Everyone said the magnet was all about the nurses, but it's not. It was truly something that we all achieved together. The teamwork here is like no other place that I've ever worked at. We've been doing it for years. That's what White Plains Hospital has been forever, for as long as I've been here, for 12 years. It really is the pinnacle of nursing care, and I know that that means that our patients are going to receive the benefit of that. It's knowing that uh, the people of Westchester County will come to us because they know that our nurses are professional. We're educated, we're compassionate, and we deliver patient-centered care. That's the most important part of Magna. Every day with every patient in every part of the hospital, they exhibit and provide an advanced level of health care unavailable anywhere else in this region. At some time in your life, living in this community, you, your child, your friend, your neighbor, will need us. That's what White Plains Hospital is about. It's about being part of the community. We really didn't realize the magnitude that how we affected this family until they came back a couple of weeks later. Davis had made us a poster and a picture of him and his little brother on a playground. It said, if it wasn't for you at White Plains Hospital, all the staff, I wouldn't be able to play with my brother. You know, and when I saw that, I just, I broke down. <laughs> it all comes from where his treatment started and how quickly they were to act on what they saw that was wrong. And he has three little brothers who, he's the sun and the moon. They saved his life. <laughs> <laughs>